I knew. <laughs> Losing my mind, guys. All right, here we go. S guaranteed third place match here between Chris Whittakind and Danny Gokul, who is visiting from uh, from London, from Hackney, London. You're also watching possibly the last match of the evening. The Sunday tournament here at Hard Times has been known to split in the past. I'm actually going to pull Dario over and see if he wants to negotiate one, so let me find out. Okay, uh, I do have confirmation that uh, Dario would like to talk about a split because he lives in Riverside. He's got a f long way to drive. <coughs> and uh, I'm not sure about uh, Danny Gokul, but I, uh, I know that Chris Whittakind... Uh, you know, is a nice guy, plays here quite a lot. He knows all these guys. I'm sure he'd be happy to split. Other players have been known to be adamant about uh, playing it out. But I just want to give you guys a heads up that this could be the last match of the day. Seb nine, what is going on? What are you upset about, Seb nine, in the chat room? Getcha. Well, you missed Chris Whittakin, um basically run out, run out of rack. Um, it's better if. Hold on. All right, here we are. Sorry about that volume, guys, going down. Okay, we're back to one here. And uh, Danny's going to tie it up. All right. 
And we got a tied match, 1-1. One, one. Ladies and gentlemen, Danny Gokul making his debut today on uh, POV Pool. And at hard times. Uh, I'm not sure if he's played here before. No, this is it. This no. is his first time. Oh, he's going to be playing in the Swanee. This is guaranteed third yeah. place. And this could be the last match, by the way, folks. Yeah, Dario yeah. has already said to me that he would like to discuss a split. Yeah. Well, it's getting a little, it's getting a little bit late. I think it's almost, what, midnight now? Yeah, it's just coming up on midnight right now. And I'm sure uh, some of these guys, you know, a lot of these guys, this is not a livelihood for them. So, you know, work or whatnot. Well, table mechanic in the chat room says, where's he got to go? Back to the pool hall in the morning? <laughs> It's a very good point. Not much of a shot here for. I hate these shots because where are you going to put the one ball? I, I like to hit That's this. Good point. Wow. I think I think I think he just wanted to make some contact on it, and he turned out it turned out really well. You know, there is sometimes you just have those shots where you just want to. You know, I mean, you get stuck. You get stuck so so well on it that, or so bad on it that you just want to make contact with the ball and not give the other guy ball in hand. Right. Even if you sell out a shot, I mean, it's. It's better than letting him put the ball where he wants to put the ball. And Chris with uh, a great safety right there. Um, wow, did not leave Dan did not leave Danny a whole hell of a lot of options. Nope. Um, and he can't. He's there's, he, hand, there's he, yeah, that's, handcuffs. That's, that's jail. That's jail time right there. He can't even. He can't even do it. Well, no, you're right. Uh, no, actually, he. Okay, I don't know if the angle is there because I can't quite see it. But he very well might have a two railer if he comes down long. And if he can, be, I think he might have to apply some English on it. But he might be able to go two rails and come back up for that that one ball. Well, yeah, he's got to hit the long rail and then come on the short rail. Yeah, but that is an ugly shot. You know, I, I much prefer that making that a three rail shot because you've got more of the other long, the left hand long. I mean, you guys uh -huh. in the chat room can correct me on this, but I would much prefer to hit that three rails instead of two. Use a lot of yeah. uh, right hand English. Another option, of course, but to do he's, that. I think it's too wide. Yeah, see, three rail three shot. Rails. See? And he got a rail and left see, that's a beautiful your, yeah, shot. Much better percentage yeah. of hitting that with a three rail. Now, me me personally, I, I don't think I, I could have pulled off a shot like that, to be honest with you. But, I mean, another option, too, that uh, I have done and I've seen other people as well, is they'll take the intentional foul. And they'll just shoot another ball in um, towards the. Uh, they would have shot another ball towards the one, and just to tie it up and make it even worse for their opponent. The problem with doing that is that you know a tournament like this where the three foul rule applies. If you do something like that, you're you're. It's a dangerous position because that person could just shoot another good safe on you, and then what are you gonna do? Yeah. You know? So. But he had a, he made a fantastic shot. You you were absolutely correct about that. That three rail shot. I didn't even I didn't even entertain that idea. I didn't, I didn't think uh, about it at all. And nice hit. And wow, look at this. And Danny just comes away with it again. He's got. Chris with a nice uh, long kick. Went, went, went on the short rail for that. And it looks like Danny's got a shot now at that bottom right corner. Yeah. 
and oh, yeah, Danny not happy with the turnout on that one. I'm thinking Danny will probably just thin the two ball and go two rail, two maybe three rails, and send that cue ball up back here. Maybe t try to tie it up against a three or right behind that nine seven. Oh, he hit that kind of thick. He hit it a little thick. He hit that really thick. Yeah. I don't know if he yeah. wanted to hit it that thick. No. And Chris is feeling good. Chris yeah. is hitting the balls real good. Yes, he is. <laughs> Daniel, I think you have a twin brother on the Honda commercial. <laughs> Honda commercial. I actually, you know, I actually sent in an audition for a voiceover for a commercial thing. Mm-hmm. I didn't hear back, but you know, maybe <laughs> that guy from the Honda commercial got it. <laughs> you know, one thing too about uh, next weekend is there's going to be so there's going to be a lot of spectators. I think uh, coming to watch everything going on over here. So it's going to be, it's not only going to be a madhouse for the players, but as far as just like the body count in this place, it's going to be jam-packed, I think. Yeah, and by the way, um, uh, just to let you guys know that uh, Mike Piasaman sitting with me here now is going to be um, uh, on staff with us here at POV Pool for the, uh, for the Jay Swanson Memorial Tournament, along with Barbara Lee, uh, myself, and uh, Chris Fitzgerald as well. We'll Spanky, be working as with we us. Affectionately Spank, call him. Yeah. I still haven't figured out how he got that nickname. I really got to ask him. <laughs> In addition, uh, we are going to have we're 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 totally booked up with uh, various commentators like uh, Frank the Barber, Jay Halford, Foch Garcia. Yep. He said he'd come in. Believe yeah. it or not, that's actually a huge. I would have thought Foch would be playing the event, wouldn't he? Well, I'm playing the event. Yeah, I know you're you playing know. the event. I uh, but I'll, I'll jump in the box. I'm sure you will between matches, and no, I, I wouldn't. I would be surprised if Foch was not playing. Uh, you know this event. Nice kick. Well, Foch is going to play. Oh yeah. But he said he said uh, I'll 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 do you one. You know. Sounds good. And uh, and I'll I'll come because yeah. I've never been able to get him to sit in the box. Ah. Oh, let's see. Oh, has he got a window to that? I think, yeah, looks like he might be able to, yeah, he can hit that three ball. Wow, beautiful shot. Great cross bank. Really difficult shot to do, especially shooting into the, into the corner pocket like that. And very nice safety. move by Danny. Used the eight ball to stop and uh, sent that cue ball down. He's actually got the seven in the way now. Uh, yeah, there's no way that uh, Chris can hit this dead on. Yeah, he's going to have to definitely have to kick at this shot. And oh, Chris made a good contact, but and he's got a nice shot in the side pocket. I think he'll just hit this with a little bit of inside. Let it come back out, center table. Yep. Well, uh, I think Danny needs to come around the seven now just like that but he's gonna bump oh, it oh oh no he's not gonna contact it at all no seven doesn't pass the eight no. and that's why he needed to come around it yeah he hit that you know what? he just went into that shot like three yeah. seconds i don't i don't think he realized like what he was doing at the point i think he was just kind of like went into a quick auto mode and 
you know, I would have thought that he would have looked at it a little bit. Oh, yeah, he tried to hook that cue ball behind the nine. Danny clearly frustrated with uh, with the outcome. You know, the way Chris is shooting, I I don't see any reason why Chris shouldn't be out outside of playing on this demon of a table. Chris is playing like it's like the pockets are buckets. Oh you know, yeah, he's playing, he's playing real playing well, well right now. Yeah. He's, playing, he's okay. really. I'm telling you, man. I never. I didn't even think he was this good. Yeah, he plays you know, strong. And I've, I've known him, him like a year yeah. and a half. <laughs> see, these are the shots right here that I really. You have problem with these shots? Those shots, I hate people that are like Chris, that are over five foot ten, and don't have to use the rake. Because my <laughs> very small well, you're, yeah, diminutive you're like, self, I am you're like five, five, se eleven? five seven and a half. I wish no, I was not. five eleven. Oh I, yeah, 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 five seven. And I'm and significantly okay. shorter than you, sir. That's true. And so with me, I have to depend on that rake a lot, you know. And I, you know, and I hate it so much that. One time, I think I devoted like an hour and a half, two hours of practice of like shooting behind the back, uh -huh. so that I wouldn't have to use it. So I mean, I can actually shoot a decent shot now behind the back, but I can't stand using the rake. So when I see people, you know, just able to better tall, like uh, um, um, Steve. Oh, Steve, tall Steve? Steve. Tall Steve. Yeah, but he's a he's a freak. I mean, that guy's oh, like taller than everybody in the universe. Yeah, and you know what? I actually in had the, the cool class. universe. I told him before that I was envious of people like him that are tall and they they never have to use a rake because he can just you know reach over and get at the ball. He's yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah. What? He said it's a handicap for him too because um, you know the as tall as he is, he really has to crouch down. If you watch his stance when he's shooting, he's got to like really kind of squat almost yeah. to get down to the table. For those of you who didn't see that, actually, uh, Chris Wedekind, uh, he made he made the nine on the break, and it doesn't count in the, the back two pockets. In the back two pockets, yeah, so which is spots. a common rule in nine ball nowadays. Yes. Well, so it, yeah. it was just respotted, but he's gonna he's gonna continue shooting through, and it's not a very good spread. Yeah. And you know, and uh, I didn't really realize how easy it is to make that ball in the top back pockets but there but you know i i was playing the i was playing the uh um chuck marcoulis uh -huh. uh, up in sacramento and uh i forgot who i was playing it was my second match i it was i was it was my match on the one loss side and uh i forgot who i was playing but um the the last you know everything when i whenever i got a chance to break and i broke i noticed that i would leave that cue ball hanging in the top right pocket like all the time and you know it was definitely frustrating my opponent because he said every single time it's up there and I think I won actually two or three games because I was able to carom or combo that nine ball in because of the way the layout was and I just had a shot at it hmm. so I can definitely I can definitely understand the rule behind uh, leaving that because like you know and from what I understand there is a way I guess of racking or breaking where you consistently leave that nine ball up there well actually some t some tables some tables are, 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 are just have a propensity to bring the nine ball into the corner on mm. a nine ball rack. Like, for instance, I went up to Chet Ito and streamed last uh -huh. year. Yep. And Louis Ulrich played Hillary Morse, uh, race to eight, nine ball. He made five nine balls on the break. Wow. Five nine balls in the break. I think I've seen that once you can, in my you life. Can check, you can check that match on YouTube. It's mm -hmm. there. He made five nine balls in the break. Now, thankfully, that rule was in effect yeah. where, where the back two pockets did not count. Right. And, uh, you know, fortunately for Hillary Morse. But then, throughout the whole event, if the mm -hmm. nine wasn't going in, it was going close to the corner. So we saw a lot of... A lot of like uh, easy three ball outs because they were just you know combinating the nine into the corner. Wow. Well. <coughs> you know, Chris has got an interesting shot here. Yep. Nice kick. Great way to leave that cue ball frozen up there and nice spot. Great. He got a nice little roll. Yeah, he's gonna he's putting yeah. the pressure on uh, Danny right now. I, I love I love those kicks too, Daniel. When uh, you know when you see a guy able to kick and send the object ball all the way down, but they freeze yeah, hold, that hold, cue ball up hold, there. Yeah, hold whitey. Yeah, and that you know the and the first person I saw do that was uh, the goat himself, Efren Reyes, 
um, you know, and the, you know, I think the the Filipinos were the ones that really innovate that, where you know, kicking wasn't only about contacting the uh, the object ball, but it was also about controlling it too, and leaving it in a position. So it, you know, it turned it almost an offensive shot. Well, I also, uh, you know, besides the obvious fact that uh, these are the right shots to play, but I'm getting the feeling that Chris realizes that he can't really leave Danny any open shots or an open rack. Oh, definitely not. Uh, I think they both realize that about each other. Yeah, yeah. So they're they're taking this pretty seriously yeah. right now. And this is actually a good match. Yeah, very much so. A lot of safety play here, which I'm really, and I really enjoy the safety play because, you know, you can see that's where you see a lot of creativeness coming out. And uh, Danny with a great shot got a got a good piece of that seven ball to to freeze it and oh Chris almost uh, kicked in kick comboed in that four ball made a good hit got a rail and I think Danny might actually be going for another safety here because that two ball it does not I don't think it pa it's not going to pass pass that eight ball in the, this bottom corner. Oh, no, that does not pass. Yeah. He, he looks like he's playing an up-and-down safety. He's going to try to... He barely hits the rail, which is good. I've noticed, though, Danny's style of play. He keeps playing these containing safeties, mm -hmm. and they're not really lock-up safeties. Nope. And there's it, it, one thing about that in his game that I, I find, you know, to be a little bit of a weakness because... Well, you know, I what okay, I see. Okay, well, that's good yeah. for for Danny. But yeah. what I noticed also, what I seem to think might like, think about that too is, uh, I think I don't know if it's intentional or not, but a lot of, a lot of the safes that he's been able to come up with, it does leave a little bit of an opportunity for his opponent to hit the ball. And I think um, if he's doing it intentionally, I think the intent behind that is to let his opponent, like, you know, have a tough shot with a very low percentage of, you know, the shot going in. But then if they miss, they may leave him an opening to, to go in. I, no, I get, no, 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 I get what you're saying. You know but what I mean? When you're playing a good player, they know how they're going to kick oh, against yeah, you. Oh, yeah, absolutely they right. They know how to kick against you. Uh, fortunately, this time it works out for Danny. Oh, your phone's blowing up there, bruh. Yeah, well, I got... You're going to have to... You should override yeah. the security passcode there. <laughs> yeah. Danny getting out of line here. He's just, uh, you know, he's basically doing... He's acting his way through it, like, as though he meant it. No reaction whatsoever. He's going to bear down. And it's going to go. That was a good shot. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a uh, low left on this, and Danny should be good. Yep, perfect. Pop right off that rail, and should be straight in, or about as straight as you could possibly ask for. Nice. That'll bring it to uh, an even score, 2-2. Two, two. Mm -hmm. Watching the Swanee warm-up here on POV Pool. This is uh, could very possibly be the final match of the day between Danny Gokul and Chris Wedekind. Yep. Uh, Dario says he wants to split. He's waiting from the hot seat right now. As to whether or not he's going to stay and play or uh, these guys are going to split, the loser of this match will walk <coughs> with guaranteed third place. 
payout I'm not aware of. Do you know what the payout is for third place? I have not gotten a chance to look at the board. Probably about so 120 or 100. I would say roughly like about that. that much. I think the turnout for the play. I think we're, they're paying down to eighth today. So I think the, the player roster, it couldn't be more than like 40 or so players that showed up today. You know, regular Sunday tournament, uh, we typically don't actually don't get a whole lot of players. It's that first Sunday of the month when you get everybody all, everybody coming out here. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Chris, uh, I think he's going to try to pocket this one ball. You think he's going to try to make this? Yeah, I think he's actually going to try to make this. Yeah, but, but I don't like the, you know I don't like the if he no, does, I don't like it. There's no reward for it. No, there isn't. I, I, quite frankly, I, I would say thin it and just try, try to hide it behind the 6-5, like on the other side of the table, yeah, and yeah. just try to leave it safe. He definitely wants to stay above, the, above that pocket. Oh, he's going another way for the safety. Might probably try to tuck that one ball behind the five. That's not a bad safety at all. That's actually pretty, that's not bad. Actually, no. There's an automatic, this is automatic safety back unless, if if Danny can fin this, oh, no, he's not. I don't, he's I don't like kick the idea. It. Yeah, if, yeah. He, if he can fin around and like twirl out of the pocket. Yeah. I did not Make like the a three rail safety. Well, I didn't like the idea of thinning that too because the scratch is right there. Yeah, I, I, he hit that yeah. bad. God. Well, I'm not looking at it from an angle. Yeah. Where but he's that good. I mean, I he got a nice little it. kick right there, and uh, he left a hook behind the five ball. So we're not going to see. We're going to see another safety battle right here. You know, these two players have been playing really, really tight. You know, a lot of safety play. They're not going aggressive. You know, like, for instance, to make this ball would just be a bad idea, or oh, even yeah. try to make this ball. Yeah, I mean, the only option I can think of to even try to make this and get shape on the one, on the two would be to hit it with inside and go off the rail and come back up. But you got the eight ball on the way. Um, there's no guarantee. Oh, he actually went for it. See? And he hit the eight ball. Now, he did got shape, but he, uh, he missed the shot. And now he's left it down there right by the pocket. So... No point no, in making this either. No point in making this either. Well, I don't think he could come back and get shape for this because the six ball's in the way, so he can't hit it with inside. Uh, the idea of drawing it back, too, I mean... You know you can draw this rail first inside? Ah. Uh, rail first, though. Rail first? And then it pulls, a, pulls out, comes I've off seen the, that shot. I have uh, seen that the shot. The long rail, and yeah. then spins down from the inside English. It spins yeah. back down that way. Right. Well, towards the three ball. That is a really aggressive shot to take something like that. I think Chris is going to opt for the safety here as well. Yep, just rolling it up. And, yeah, I think he got there. Yep. And the, we're seeing a, a real strategic match over here, too. I mean, this isn't the – this is I wouldn't call this your typical nine ball match where you see guys just running out, running out, running out. These guys are taking their time. They're really thinking about their shots, and you know, they're they're playing aggressively, but definitely playing more with their brain as, as opposed to brawn. I think there's a lot less mistakes going on in this match than I've oh, seen yeah. all day. Absolutely. And the, both players are coming out with some uh, fantastic shots. I mean, each one is hooking the other, but the other, but then the other person comes back with a great kick or. Well, you see, know, this is tough here own. because I think I think he's got enough to where he can try to cut this up table to the corner. No, he doesn't. Nope. He went for a bank and oof, nice try. Now, let's see if we can take a look at this angle. And it looks he's like got, he's got enough he, room. Yeah, he's got yeah. enough room. Two ball definitely goes. That might be the first sellout of the uh, yeah. of the day. Nice <laughs> shot. Yeah. For this, nice well, shot. of the match. Yep. Chris makes a, <laughs> a great shot on that three on that uh, two ball. Got perfect shape for the three. Nice. Now, Chris is definitely going to want to be careful on this one. He's on an angle on a four ball. He's, he's Prob lining up problem for the combo. is, he, hopefully, he can hook behind the nine. Yeah, he's got to play this slow, and yeah. that's the problem. Exactly. He, he, needs he to, wants to leave the four ball there. Yeah, he needs to bump the nine. He doesn't want to come, like. Right. He doesn't want to slide into the nine. He wants to bump it. 
Oh, he made wow. both balls, so that he can do that too. Really and he doesn't pretty have, creative. Yeah, he doesn't have uh, that dash. I see that you know some, and I've seen some players actually go for that two for one shot. And I, for the life of me, I'm like I guess I just don't have that creativeness in me or that stroke. But I'm more of the opinion like you know one ball at a time. Oh, wow. He's got, no, oh. I was going to say he's going to get a roll. Oh, I think he did he get a roll. a roll. He got a roll. He bumped that, that <laughs> six ball, bumped the nine. <laughs> How can wow. you miss? He missed it bad, and he got a roll. Chris must have said his prayers last night, this morning, and just before the match. <laughs> Either that or he's out there feeding the homeless. Yeah. <laughs> the pool gods just decided to smile on him for that one. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, he did have a, oh, he no, a window he was, at it. Did he spin that in? He was trying to I spin think he was that trying to spin, in. I think he was trying to spin that in so he could get shape on that eight ball, and it just rattled. You know what? And I think from the couple of matches that I've been watching when I was uh, commentating, you know, that that's the pocket up there that seems to be giving the players the most headache. That's the devil pocket of this table? Yeah, that seems to be the case because I saw Dave rattle like two or three shots up there in that, that match that he had on the stream. And I saw um, a couple other players mat uh, rattle it up there as well. So I think that seems to be like the, the pocket that's killing everyone right now. And well, Chris takes the lead, 3-2. Definitely a crucial game in this match. Yeah. If, you're, if you're talking about a race to five, yeah. you know. We're getting... Uh, to be the first to get the three makes it crucial. But you know what? This ain't no runaway train for either of them. No, this it's could both. Be, this could definitely be a grinder. Yeah. Oh, it, it's been a grinder. It's been going back and forth the entire uh, the entire match, I think. Grinding. Grinding away. And I want to remind everybody again that POV Pool will be back next weekend for the 17th Annual J. Swanson Memorial Tournament. Um, 192 player field, $4,000 added. Weekend for uh, pool aficionados. So That's right. Make, you know, if you guys are free and you guys got, you know, you guys are available, definitely come down and check out the action. You're gonna see some really great pool playing um, all the way, um, all the way around. Um, you know, not only do we have uh, a lot of the the local pros and am and uh, semi pro players coming out for this, like uh, Johnny Kang, um, Foch Garcia, um, you know, but uh, we're gonna have like you know those A list players that we mentioned earlier this evening, um, coming out to play as well. And we got yeah, some what else? Some Johnny Kang, Steve Chaplin, Steve Chaplin, yes, Tall Steve, as we call him. Um, See Manny here. Herrera, Manny Jay Beatty. Jay Beatty, yeah. Um, see here. Oh, God. Oh I, can, gosh, I, you know, I can't even think right now. I think I'm, t I'm thinking I think I'm even to Ross Fagroso's in it. Ross, uh, you know, in it? I have, I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised, and I have not seen Ross in a while. Last I had checked, he was playing more golf than pool. But as far as I know, his you know, stroke, you might be is, right. still, his, his right, stroke right. is definitely still there. Omar Vashani. Omar, Vash Omar Vashani is going to show. I, wouldn't be, I think Tang Ho is going to be playing it as well. Now, Tang, he's. Is Tang in it? You know I let's check recall. the bracket. We can check it out, yeah. Uh, let's check that there bracket there. And, of there. course, we're going to have some, uh, you know, the most famous players. Confirmed list. Here yeah. we go. All right. Let's take a look and uh, see some of the names that we got that are going to be showing up over here. Um, oh, Frank the Barber. Frank the Barber. Butch Barba. You know, Ramin Bakhtiari. Butch Barba's good. Ramin Bakhtiari, he's the... Uh, so uh, Ramin run. is strong as hell. Yep, and he's he runs uh, GoPlaypool.com, one of the, our sponsors for that weekend. That's and right. for today. Um, there is also going to be... Lee Brett. Lee Brett. Lee he, Brett, the he, instructor. He's, yep. uh, you know, uh, yep. helped... John Mora, Shane Van Boning, and uh, tons of other players. Yep. Jim Burt. Jim Burt. Some guy named Daniel Bush. Uh, I'm supposed to play. <laughs> Brian Butler from Canada. Brian Butler. He's a real strong player. Absolutely. Uh, let's see here. How many other names do I recognize that on this? Uh, look, um, Chris Fitzgerald, who will also be uh, assisting with the uh, the stream next weekend. And uh, he's John Ferguson is pretty strong. Yep. Yeah, uh, let's, let's see. Who else do we got? Uh, 
They were Greg in, Harada. Greg Harada. Uh, Greg Harada, he and... Forget about that. That's Greg like, actually, and he won the Sai Tad Nakashima's Cup. Sai Nakashima's playing Sai Nakashima. as well. Ted, uh, Greg Harada actually won the uh, the first Tad Cup, I think, that was hosted by uh, Hard Times out here. And then, uh, see here. Jim I think Hennessy. Jenny Lee, female, uh, yeah. one of the female pros. She's going to be uh, out here as well. Um... Let's see. God, you got, you got a, it's going to be a great, great Next cast page. of characters. Yeah, great cast of I characters think, that we're going to be. Uh, oh, no. Luke uh, Lau's not playing. Luke Lau's not playing. Kurt Kobayashi is going to be playing. He's. Uh, I've seen him play a couple of times. Uh, Clyde, Clyde's playing it, too. Oh, Clyde's going to. That, that ought to be interesting. That ought to be fun. And then uh, we got. Uh, let's see. Isaac here. Wooten, he's a good player. Yeah. Mark Whitehead. Mark Whitehead, Chris, um, Chris Whittakin. Um, see here. And these are just. Now, folks, these are just. These are the, just uh, shortstops. Yeah, these are just like the uh, um, the local, like pro and semi pro and amateur players that were. Branch Tally, he hit some pretty good. He had some pretty good as well, yep. And let's see here. Um, this. Uh, I thought uh, one of the regulars that shows Bo up here. Bo Runnigan. Uh, Bo Runnigan. Uh, Scott. Ike, Ike Runnels. Ike is Runnels. Playing. Oh, Ike Runnels. That's <laughs> going to be a good. That's going to be really good. Um, <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's going to be a great weekend, guys. So come on. Wayne Pollen. Wayne Pollen. Come Brian on. Brian Parks. Brian Parks, winner of the national amateur twice. championship. Twice. Twice. He's in won a row. it twice. He's won it twice. Yeah. And uh, see, there's Rodney Morris right there. He's one of the big, one of the more well-known pros. He's been around the game for quite a while now. Ezekiel Morrison, Zeke Morrison. Yeah. Zeke Morrison. Yeah. Jerry Matchin. Do you know Jerry Matchin? No. Jerry no. Matchin? Great player. He owns Sticks Billiards in Ventura. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And Daniel, I am going to take a quick uh, breather real quick, but I will be right back no, no, to, no uh, worries, to run man. with no this. Worries. So I will see you in just a couple of minutes, folks. All right. Thanks. So there you go. That's... Just a uh, a tidbit of who we got playing at this uh, 17th annual Swanee. That's okay, I got it. Meanwhile, I've completely lost touch of what's going on in this match. Can anybody f uh, update me, please? I'm sitting here reading a list. I see a score of 3-2, so it looks like this... this Uh-oh. Chris is probably going to ride this 9. I think Chris is going to get away from uh, Danny in this match. Barring some strange mistake here, but uh, it's very quickly going to become four to three, four to two, putting Chris on the hill. 
Okay, well, here's a mistake. Ooh, that is not good. Frozen to the rail. Yeah, that, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, D-Mobs, that's a C.J. Wiley shot, exactly. <laughs> How you doing, BBQ? Oh, I'm I'm a little tired. Tell the truth. <laughs> tell you, uh, I concur. Yeah, it's a little late in here. How you doing, Stan? Been a long day. Nice Snooker shot. Snooker in the chat room saying Hi, hello. Hi, Snooker. Good to see you here in the room. And all you guys, a lot of you guys have been here the whole shebang. That's awesome. Very nice cut. Very nice, but a little overstroked. I don't think Danny's going to even think about missing this shot after, you know, this has been a golden opportunity for him. So let's see if he can pull this off. Well, yeah. He was warming up with Foch uh, back on table 10 earlier. Or they were sparring. I'm not sure. No, I think they were just warming up. He, he, I think Danny, Danny and Foch have become friends very quickly. Um, Danny's here visiting from London. Look at this. Look at. <laughs> oh my goodness! He just let out a big. <laughs> wow. <that laughs> a big was sigh of relief. Like He's the, grinning. That was He's the got pool the grin. Doesn't he remind you of Raj? Hundle, a little a bit. A little bit. The, yeah, but I mean they're both Indian. Play. You know, they're both. Uh, like West Indian. Well, yeah, well, I, w I was saying earlier to Mike uh, Piasanban that, you know, maybe maybe it's it's like a, a culture, you know, like the Filipinos have the wave, the stroke, you know, and it just seemed like this guy and Raj seemed to have a real similar kind of th the way they're down on the ball and, you know. Big shout out to LaVarts. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, but I don't remember. I don't remember which one Lavarts is. I'm so I, I haven't streamed in three months, so <laughs> <laughs> you're out of it. Like, huh? uh, who's Lavarts? <laughs> Please tell me. Who you, are. <laughs> you, you better let him know. And plus, it's late. It is. I'm like not even trying to like dip into the memory banks right now. Like, I'm sure it's, like, probably somebody I know really well, like my mother or something Safety like that. Oh, shot. hey, it's Bob. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait Bob. a minute. No, I, he's it's my dad. <laughs> he's fooling us. No, it is Bob Bolio. What is going on? I've been... Hey, are By you, guys that are, name? you guys are doing the World PPA Reno shootout this year, are you not, Bob? Yeah, it's coming up. Yeah. Because that's what I've been saying. <laughs> <laughs> when I plug the bar table championships... Okay, good. <laughs> what is it added this year? I think it's, is it 1,500 or is it more? Okay, we're going to have another safety battle here. And yeah, Bob, uh, yeah, and Bob, we're, unfortunately, Daniel and I are going to miss it. Otherwise, we'd be there, but. Uh, I changed my mind, actually. I'm going. Okay. <laughs> well, Daniel will be there. No, I I'm will kidding. not. I'm kidding. I'll, I'm going to trade in his uh, airline ticket. For what? I don't have an airline ticket. What, you what airline ticket do I have? How you how you get into Arkansas? You swim? Uh, you see the you see these? I got one on the right and one on the left. To They're called thumbs. To Arkansas. Oh, that I said plane ticket. I was gonna cash oh, in right. your plane ticket. We have to ticket. go to Arkansas. All right. No, but <laughs> Apparently, Daniel's still gonna be there. I'll, I'll be in Arkansas. Uh, yeah, Bob. How much is uh, how much added is the World PPA uh, Reno Shootout? Remind me, please. And and uh, uh, by the way, send me a uh, a flyer. No, we're not going to Reno. We have to be in Arkansas. I thought we just went over that. Well, he said he was watching an ad. Oh, he was chat. watching an ad. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Meanwhile, we're this is actually a really good match. I know.
another safety attempt here. Pretty good because uh, getting back onto that three is uh, no picnic. Can I uh can I ask you for for a break? Please email me the file cause, <laughs> because uh, for some reason the file that you are posting in the chat room is I, I'm not able to grab it and put it into my into my computer. So please email me that file. Uh, I'll be right back. I want to take a break, and Mike Piasam is going to join Barbara real quick. This is quite the safety battle that they've got going on here. This is about the fourth inning on this one ball. Going back and forth. Yeah, you're absolutely right about that, Barbara. And, and look you know, at this nine ball hanging. I bet you he's going to hit this the, in. These two have been having a ridiculous safety battle all match. I mean, it's, it's been every single yeah, game. Yeah, because this has gone quite long for yes, a race to. Uh, it has. And I was telling, I was saying. It's a race uh, to five, right? Was, yep. No, yeah, it is a race to five. And I was saying earlier, uh, you know, when I was with Daniel, is that uh, this is not a typical uh, nine ball match that you would ordinarily see uh, with guys just running out and making shots and all that. These guys are playing, both these players are playing very tight. Very tight. Very yeah. conservative. And uh, they're both just. You know, locking each other up, but um, you know they're all. But at, when one person locks them up, locks the other up, the other person, the other player, just uh, comes back with a great shot, a great kick, or whatever the case is. Oh, look at that! Look, what a shot that was! Broke that out, yeah. made the, the one, broke the whole thing out, opened yeah. it wide open. Beautiful. Great shot. Beautiful control. Yeah, that's just a testament to the quality of player that uh, that Danny is, and you know he's going to be playing the Swanee next weekend. Yeah. And, uh, you know he's definitely got a, a a place among those players. I mean he is definitely not a slouch, and you know he, he can shoot. You know, and I mean this is the quality of player that we're going to see next weekend. Oh I mean, yeah, really, it's going to be tremendous. We're, we're going to have some great. Great matchups. Next yeah, weekend. we sure are, and yeah. we're gonna and we're gonna put them all right here on the POV pool stream. Absolutely. <laughs> and then Daniel will have a blast doing all the editing when, yeah. when the weekend oh, gets oh, all I'm done. Sure. He'll be playing it as well, so I'm sure that Daniel's gonna have uh, an opportunity to, you know, put his own uh, skills to the test. And of course, uh, Barbara, myself. Um, well, we'll be running the stream, and we're going to have some we're gonna have some great guests uh, to help commentate as well. Uh, yeah, Jay Helford, absolutely. Uh, you know, Christopher Fitzgerald. Uh, you know, just some really uh, some really great people that we're going to have to help. You know, make this a little bit more entertaining for for you guys. And uh, definitely want to, yes, yeah, Shane Van Boning, uh, D Mobs. Yep, he will be here. You know, so uh, and again, we. Um, over uh, us at uh, POV Pool, we really can't thank all of you guys enough in the chat and those of you just watching that, uh, you know, for just tuning in and just watching and giving us a, a reason to, to stream all of this for you and bring you 
you know, all this action, so thank you. Uh, D-Mobs, Efren will not be here. Yeah, Efren's uh, not. I've already got confirmed about that. Yeah, uh, he's, he's not. still in the Philippines. Bustamani will, however. Yes, Francisco Bustamani will be. Uh, we will have Efren Parika. Jr. We will have Efren Jr. Ronnie uh, Alcano. As he's, yes, as yeah. he's been uh, called, he will be here. Um, so we, we'll definitely have the uh, almost the full cast of Filipinos, but uh, definitely, Alex, yeah, yeah, Alex Pagline will be here. Uh, unfortunately, though, the uh, the goat will not be here. Um, you know, I make it no secret who my favorite player All is, right. and who my hero of the tables is, and that would be Efren. And I will still contest that uh, he is the greatest player to ever, you know, pick up a cue stick. In my opinion, um, I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of people who disagree. You know, I mean, there with the likes of uh, Willie Moscone and um, you know, and a, a whole slew of other characters that have come before him. Um, you know, nothing against their games; they were great players. But me personally, I, I love I love the magician. You know, he's uh, one of the nicest guys you can meet, and one of, and the greatest player to play. All right, we got four three. I uh, believe it is uh, Danny that is up right now. And Danny has broken dry. Uh, Chris has a shot at the one ball, but uh, it's not an easy one to make. And, you know, going off of what we've seen so far in this matchup, I think Chris is going to opt for the safety on this one. Looks like he's just going to try to, yep, and send that cue ball back up. Uh, Mika Imanen, I don't think will be here. Uh, Johnny Archer, I believe he is still in Vegas. Uh, he is still working on the uh, the bonus ball that uh, they're they're trying to get off the ground over there. So unfortunately, he will not be here. Nice shot. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you. A lot of traffic in, in Chris's way. Uh, Cosmo, well, thanks for letting us know. I know that it was delayed, but I didn't realize that it was completely dead. shot on that one ball. Definitely was not easy. And nice shot. And well, he's on the hill. This is a race to five. Right? Yep, this yes, is it, this is a race to five. So he's on the hill. Yes. So he's going to bear down, that's yep. for sure. Looking to cut that three ball in the corner and come back around for the four in the same pocket. Oh, nope. I was wrong. He made a beautiful shot on that. Don't really see too many problems left on this I don't layout. Either. He's, mm -hmm. he's, he's got this, uh, it's runnable from here. Mm -hmm. Looks like we uh, had to slow down the uh, the chat room just a little bit, just so we can uh, make sure that the stream stays consistent, so you guys can watch uh, the match as it progresses. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. Uh, 
he's gonna um, oh. look at this. Oh man. He went for the bank. And caught that and like or six ball. He, yeah, he went for the bank and he caught that. He, I think he actually oh, went for the he, bank because he caught that corner pretty good. And I, unfortunately, I'm amazed. yeah. I'm amazed. I didn't even get to see what happened uh, when he shot the five ball to get shaved. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't looking either. I, I yeah. looked down and by the time I looked up, he, yeah. he was halfway through the shot. I think what he wanted to do, I think he wanted to get that, uh, leave that, the cue ball up at the top of the table so he get the six on the side. I think he just came maybe that a little bit too far and that's why he had to go for the bank. And now Chris has the opportunity well, to make it a hill hill. Home. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'd like to tie this up. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Got a real nail biter of a match here, guys. So. And boy, he's he's. Chris. he's like, wow, I sure didn't want to be here, but yeah. you know what? I'll yeah. just shoot it anyway. Well, with a shot like this, I think all he has to worry about is just pocketing the ball. He doesn't have to worry about shape or anything. Perfect. There it is. I mean, he wasn't going to scratch anywhere. How about that? Hill, we're, hill, we're guys. We're have a hill, hill. Race to one. Well, with the kind of match, oh, with the kind of match that these two have been having, I'm not yeah. surprised at all, all that right. it has gone hill, hill. I mean, they've been just going back and forth, back and forth. It's been just trading games, trading punches. Hill, hill. Yeah. Here we go. This is the Sunday. You are watching the Sunday Hard Times Billiards. Uh, this is kind of a warm up to the Swanee, but it's yep. a regular Sunday tournament. Yeah. And uh, brought to you live all day and all night tonight yeah. by uh, none other than POV Pool. POV will be streaming the Swanee. It will be free. Uh, and that is being put on by uh, CSI. Kamui, Kamui Tips. Well, the event's being put on, put on by CSI. Oh, is that, is that what it is? Okay, yeah. gotcha. CSI, it's CSI's event. Yeah, gotcha, okay. And, um, and then the sponsors are numerous. Very. Going to be numerous, yep. and we'll go over all of that list at another time. Yeah. Uh, Chris had a nice uh, two-ball break, and got a decent shot on the one. The payouts are. All right, I'm gonna hand you over to Marie Lynn real quick, tournament director for this event. Extraordinaire, and she's going to give you the payout figures. Uno momento. Hello, and good evening to you guys. Um, if you guys are curious about the payouts, uh, basically, I'll give you the top three tonight. Um, third place is taking home 105, second place is 150, and first is 250. All right, guys, I'm handing you guys back over to Barbara, and have a good night. Thank you, Marie. Appreciate that. Always nice to have you in your bye. Thanks for that update, Marie. All right, we've got the, we got it. Marie Lim. We got the goods. Marie Lim, tournament director here at Hard Times Billiards in Bellflower. She also runs a, a Thursday night handicap tournament. Uh, for those of you that want to come out and try your and hand a lot of that. the big ones too, you know, a lot of, the, know, a lot ones, yeah. of the, the bigger tournaments here. Yep. And just as a re just as a reminder, uh, the, that Thursday night tournament, if uh, there is an annual Tad Cup tournament that is played, that is coming up in a couple of months, and uh, if you want to play in the Tad Cup, you do have to have a player rating, and uh, which requires you to play at least uh, four tournaments. Uh, on Thursday night so if you guys are interested in, interested in playing the Tad Cup you know definitely start to uh, get your uh, get your qualifications in now and that way you don't have to worry about it later on and Chris went for a yes he did a pretty tough bank just there and uh, this unfortunately could, this could short. be fatal this yeah. could be let's see how it pans out Solid shot. They're both, though, kind of struggling a little bit on the shape. Or, I you think know, the nerves. I think know? they're just tired. I think it could be fatigue. Yeah, tired and the nerves. It must be. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's already nerve-wracking when you play uh, when you play matches like this and all. But you know, when you get down to hill, hill, it, it just adds just even more pressure. It sure does. And uh, Danny with a great shot on that, a great shape to get on that on that nine ball, and well, that'll do it. Well, there you go. So. Uh, 
Danny takes it down. You know, Chris played a I, – I, shout out to Chris Whitaker. He played a really <coughs> strong tournament. Yes, um, absolutely. I'll tell Coming you what. in third place out of a field of roughly 40, uh, I believe, so. Yeah, that was just yeah. absolutely terrific. All right. And it looks like we're going to be playing out this last match, folks. Uh, it's going to be Danny Gokul uh, versus Dario. All right, final score, 5-4. Yeah. And they're discussing uh, how long this. So it's Danny against uh, Dario. Yep. And it's going to be a uh, final race to nine. So um, instead of being a, 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 a you know traditional true double elimination tournament, uh, the, the person in the hot seat. I don't know Dario's win, last name. Has to win uh, tw um, twice. Um, or has to, if you um, the person that uh, comes back from the loser side.